Hey guys, here's a new one about Unreal Engine and letting a character follow your player. The goal is to create an enemy that is chasing the player. And for this I'm using the mannequin character, a blackboard, a simple behavior tree and an AI controller. I just copied the third person character blueprint of the mannequin. So you can see he has a camera and all this stuff that we don't need. So let's open the blueprint and get rid of this. All these nodes here for the player's input we can select and then remove them. Then I go to the viewport and remove the camera and also this camera boom. Okay, this is all we need to have a character that will follow the player. But to have the default animations of the mannequin, I have to set the animation blueprint and I set it to the third person anim blueprint class. When I start now, the mannequin, which will be the enemy, is playing the default idle animation. Nice. Now we have to add the artificial intelligence components, namely the blackboard and the behavior tree. So let's start with the blackboard, choose artificial intelligence, blackboard. Alright, I named this enemy BB. So what is a blackboard? A blackboard is a simple place where data can be written and read like a dictionary and it is used by behavior trees for example for decision making purposes. So what you do here is to define keys that have certain types, like a character object that we want to chase. So create a key called player object. The type will be object, but for the base class we will use the crunch character because this is the object, the player, that we want to follow. So that's it for this simple blackboard. The next step is to create a behavior tree that uses this blackboard and that defines that the enemy should move to the player, to the object that we defined in the blackboard. So this will be the simplest behavior tree that you can think of, but I will go more into detail about behavior trees in one of the next tutorials. For this one I just add a selector to be able to add a move to node, and this node uses the only key of the assigned blackboard by default, and this is the player. Okay, now we have the behavior tree that uses the blackboard to let the character move to the player, but we also need to connect the player to this logic and this is why we add a new blueprint with an AI controller as parent class. I will call this enemy AI controller. To let the enemy character use this enemy AI controller, I select the enemy blueprint, go to the pawn section and assign the enemy AI controller to the AI controller class. Now we have to tell this AI controller to use the blackboard and the behavior tree. So open the enemy AI controller, go to the event graph and drag out a use blackboard node from the event begin play. For the blackboard, I select the enemy BB, the enemy blackboard. Okay, the next thing is to add a set value as object node to assign the player to the key we defined in the blackboard. For the key I promote a new variable and set the value to player obj and then I get the player character and assign it to the object value. The last thing that we have to do here is to run the behavior tree that is called enemy bt. Okay, we are almost done, but what is missing is a enough mesh bounce volume that defines the area where the enemy character is able to walk. So I add this component to the scene and then I press P to activate it. You can see it turns to green now and then I use the scale tool to scale it so that it covers the whole environment here. Alright, now we can start the game and the enemy. The mannequin is chasing our player now. He isn't able to jump, he needs to stay on the ground and is allowed to walk on the green areas of the Navmesh bounce volume.
Okay guys, that's it, a very simple AI. In the next part, I will improve it. And after that, I will add logic for fighting, damage handling and stuff like that. So thanks for watching this and if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Consider being my patron, this would really help me to create more tutorials for you. Stay tuned and see you on JNM.